Alright, what's going on guys? So, you're gonna notice the gameplay in this video is different, obviously. I'm trying to switch things up a little bit uh, when I come on here and make videos. I don't want them only to be Call of Duty gameplays from now on, so I'm actually investing a little bit of money into retro consoles, different types of games and stuff like that. That way I can get a pretty decent variety of different types of gameplay. So, uh, I actually went out and bought a GameCube. I just want to let you guys know, you guys might have been a little bit weirded out by not seeing COD. Just want to let you know. Anyways, thank you to my channel members. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and throw this in because uh, this is the first video they got to see early so my channel members get to see story time videos early due to their five dollars a month helping support my content so thank you to you guys hope you guys enjoy the story anyways so I've always uh, been like really infatuated with the idea of business uh, ever since I was a little kid I've always really enjoyed uh, just I don't know I, I don't know what it really is about it I don't know if it's the idea of owning something that's yours or if it's the independent aspect of I get to run my own thing and I get to make money doing what I want to do. I'm not really sure what it's always been, but I mean, ever since I was a little kid, man, I've just always been really business minded, man. I've always wanted to run and start a business. And I guess I kind of do with my YouTube, but I don't really consider it like a business. So one of the first businesses I ever ran, which shocker, I've ran many, um, was a duct tape wallet, uh, little organization. Now I was in about, I think fifth grade when this happened. So I was like 10, 11 years old when this whole thing was going down. And I don't even know where I got the idea behind it. I think I was probably Probably just watching YouTube videos or something and I just stumbled across duct tape wallets and and was just completely mind blown by the idea that you could do something like that Jesus Christ what that's the wind Jesus dude anyway um, yeah, I just, I don't know. I don't know what it was about that whole thing, but I decided that I was going to start my own duct tape wallet enterprise. So I had this friend in middle school back when I wanted to start this whole thing. We'll call him Bob. Okay. So, uh, Bob, he might've been the one who introduced me to the idea. I, I have no idea. I can't remember really every exact detail about it, but I just, I don't know. We, we did, we're talking about it. We realized that, Hey, this might be something that we can make some money off of and do what literally whatever with at that age, probably Bob video games or Pokemon cards or just something, you know? And we'd been throwing this idea around and uh, eventually we talked to our parents about it and, you know, they weren't gonna be like, okay, you little morons, you know, you're not wasting my fucking money by, you know, buying all this duct tape and doing something ignorant. Duct tape is relatively inexpensive, I guess, especially considering you could make a decent amount of these products with just one roll of duct tape. And the good thing about the duct tape wallets was that they were super custom customizable like you could make pretty much any size wallet you wanted you could have as many card slots as you wanted duct tape if you guys have ever seen duct tape which i'm assuming everyone has because well duct tape is everywhere you know there's like 70,000 different colors designs patterns all kinds of stuff on these duct tape rolls and plus we kind of knew how to make them like we'd been watching youtube videos about it and stuff so we kind of had a basic understanding on how to make these products and stuff uh, was very easy to make, was inexpensive, like I said, super customizable, and it was something we knew how to do. So at the age of 10, and with like $20 from your parents, that's my small loan of a million dollars, I'm on my Donald Trump art of the deal shit here, you know, we went and got some duct tape. Now for anyone who's ever owned a business, you realize that you have to invest money at the beginning, right? There, There's a general startup cost and uh it, it's usually expensive and when you're like 10 20 dollars just out of the random to start this duct tape wallet business isn't just something that you're gonna just pull out so we got this quote unquote loan from our parents aka here's 20 dollars to make you shut up and yeah we ended up getting a little bit of duct tape and we just went right from there man so we were kicking around names right because obviously you have to have a name for your business and we decided we were going to use the creative name like the ultra creative name of duct tape wallet incorporated and in reality it's not a terrible name i mean it's not like super catchy or anything but it describes the product and the service pretty well so from this point you know we we kind of had the ball rolling Th this was really it so we started uh making some of these wallets and stuff and we didn't only make wallets i should add uh we we made a uh, little like coin pouches we made wallets we made all kinds of stuff we didn't make anything like ridiculous out of it because obviously we didn't want to waste up all of our duct tape and a lot of it we just simply didn't know how to do because we were 10 years old and we were like dumb pieces of garbage basically but yeah we we just kind of started off and uh with that 20 dollars that we had gotten we just kind of kicked things off and I'm not gonna lie uh the duct tape wallet and other product services are they're not in high demand in central Ohio we didn't do very much uh, marketing research so we weren't advertising at all 
Um, the only advertising we really had was some Facebook page and like word of mouth from our parents like making fun of us behind our backs probably. So we didn't really end up doing much right off the jump and uh, I don't know how discouraged we had gotten because even like two months later we were still doing it. I don't know if we had just decided that it was going to work out one day and that we were going to have a global conglomerate that was based around building duct tape wallets. I, I don't know how hyped we were about it but we had a bunch of these products and uh, they were pretty shabbily made. I'm going to be really honest i think i actually still have one of the wallets i don't know where it's at i wish i could find it because we made our own wallets and stuff too if i could find that someday man I'd, I'd like i'd like to have that that'd be pretty cool anyway um yeah we, we just had all these products kind of just sitting around and then you know we started getting a little bit of actual support i remember on the facebook page we had gotten a message from some random dude we'd never met before which when you're 10 that that's you know we didn't think that one through. And he wanted to buy one of these wallets for his wife or something because apparently she liked this crafty shit or whatever. Apparently women like crafts and like, apparently there is a market for like middle-aged moms and stuff where they'll just buy the most useless shit just because it's made out of like an inferior yet different kind of material. Like I remember going to a couple festivals, there was these straw grass baskets that were made in some third world country being sold by these people who were claiming to give all this money back to these people, but I mean, when you're selling a, a grass basket for $80, I, I simply don't think that's the case. But yeah, apparently there's a market for that. And that was basically our first customer. And he was going to buy one of our wallets. Now, now that I think about it, okay, we need to do a little bit of math here. Okay, let me look up how much a roll of duct tape is. Duct tape. Okay, so duct tape is $3.50 for a regular little roll of it, it looks like. And this is in the red. We made a lot of the red ones, actually. Red, teal, blue, and black was what we used a lot of. Okay, so like $3.50 for a roll. We probably made about six or seven wallets a roll. So if we even priced these wallets at something like decent, like $3, okay, if we got seven wallets out of it at $3, you know, we would make $21 off of a roll of duct tape, which is an $18 profit margin, which that's that's decent, you know, that, that's that's a pretty decent profit margin when you're kids and you didn't invest any of your own initial money. Keep in mind the like 20 bucks or whatever we had invested, that's barely going to cover for it. But And the reason it would barely cover for it is because we weren't really getting very much business, so... We weren't selling these at $3, keep in mind. I, I don't know what we were thinking, but apparently we thought a duct tape wallet was worth $10, which means if we had been selling seven of these wallets on a $3.50 roll of duct tape, we're talking like $70, which is like a $67 or $66.50 profit margin, which was ridiculous, okay? So I don't think we ever ended up selling this dude the wallet because it was some random dude, and I'm pretty sure if we went to our parents like, hey, can you drive me to this dude's house to sell him a wallet. He's 47 and he's apparently buying it for his wife. I'm pretty sure my mom probably would have just smacked me in the mouth. Anyways, you know, uh, we did end up getting one of our uncles, I think, or aunts, one of them, to actually buy a bunch of our shit from us. And this was a huge order too. This was ridiculous. They bought like three wallets, five coin collectors or whatever we had made or for whatever it was for change it was insane like the total price ended up literally being like 65 dollars okay so most likely we were going to go through like a roll and a half of tape total uh, which is like $7 and then made 60. So we were going to make some pretty good profit off of this. And we did. We we sold that. We made that money. It ended up being uh, 60 or 65 bucks. It was something pretty decent. You know, we, we, we pulled off with the bread. And at this point, dude, we felt like we had it all, man. We thought like we were a Fortune 500 company, Wolf of Wall Street, you know, I'm never leaving this business kind of shit. Like this was the launch of my Microsoft. You know what I'm saying? So with that in mind, uh, we split the money because we both put in pretty equal work and uh, that was the last customer we ever had, so we made our money back and more, okay? We, we turned this business a profit, a pretty decent profit. We both kind of peeled off with like 20 bucks individually after we had bought all our tape and whatnot, so, you know, we, we made a pretty, I guess, decent profit considering we didn't put any of our own money into it. 20 bucks to a 10 or 11 year old kid, that's pretty good you know what i'm saying that's actually really decent because i i know a lot of you are growing up now and your parents give you like 50 dollars a week and shit allowance and stuff i didn't have that kind of stuff growing up like if i wanted something i usually would get it because my parents were really hard working people but i mean i grew up in like lower to mid middle class you know we didn't just have money to just hand me 200 dollars a month kind of shit you know what i'm saying just for doing nothing pretty much some of you were even making more i know a dude who when i was growing up made like a hundred dollars a week so he was making what 400 
a month just to sit around the house like we didn't get that man so if i had 20 dollars in my pocket dude i could go to like walmart dude i'd go buy me some legos or something i was really infatuated with legos when i was around that age honestly i still like legos they are pretty cool but i mean that to me was it was worth the investment man i peeled off with more money than i put into it but after a couple of months of great service to the community and millions of happy customers globally duct tape wallet incorporated ended up closing its doors but hey no reason to be sad i have something i want you guys to see so i was going through my old uh email account on yahoo because i, I switched over to gmail when i was like 12 and i went into the drafts and the uh sent mail and stuff just to see what i was saying because i emailed my friends back in the day a lot and i emailed my dad and my grandpa and lots of emails and stuff that i had sent so i was going through all this stuff and i found the official contract for Duct Tape Wallet Incorporated, man. This shit was dope. I'm not gonna lie, I was so geeked when I found this, right? So, you're seeing it on your screen right now, okay? This is the official contract for Duct Tape Wallet Incorporated. And on top of that, the first message ever sent from the Duct Tape Wallet official email, which was my personal email, is, hello, it's Nathan, with like 80 exclamation points. We are gonna be famous, okay? So... That was the initial statement that we had made on the business, right? Here is the contract. This contract states that the two major duct tape product companies of Springfield, Ohio. These companies both have copyrights of the year 2011 and the companies both state as your company, Duct Tape Wallet Incorporated and ours. Oh, wait a minute, dude. Oh yeah, I forgot. We ended up merging our duct tape companies. Yeah, I had my own for a while here. Nathan and Blank's Duct Tape and String. Signing this contract legally states that the ongoing offer between us has been declared as an accept. Accepting this contract will be said law until the peak of the contract's end. If you do not accept this contract, it will not become law. So if we were to tell you that we have not been doing our part of this contract, but you have declined the offer or said contract, it will not matter on your part because you have not agreed to sign or make the contract law. Details. The details state that the, between the two of us, you will sponsor us and us, you. Ends October 31st, 2013. This is on March 29th, 2011, man. Jesus. I probably got off the computer and went and played Call of Duty Black Ops 1 after this, man. But yeah, okay, so apparently we ended up merging these businesses and sponsoring each other or something. But yeah, I didn't remember that whole part. But yeah, I found this. Man, what a what a gold mine of my childhood, man. So yeah, I mean, that's really the story, guys. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're brand new around here. Follow me on Twitter at sub to Optimus. Join the Discord down below. Thank you to my channel members for your $5 a month. Your support helps my channel tremendously. Keep in mind that if you do enjoy the storytime videos, you will see them early as a channel member. Just a little bit of an incentive. However, you don't have to be a channel member to see all of my content. You know what I'm saying? And until my next video, guys, thank you for watching. This is Optimus running his conglomerate duct tape wallet company and signing out.